hope things are great in Chicago. Coming up next on FS1, we're going to head slightly further west. We're going to go to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway and get you ready for cup racing out there. Kyle Busch has already won twice this weekend. Who is going to stop him today? Plus, we're going to chat with Martin Truex Jr., Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson, and Denny Hamlin. All coming up next on FS1. Lisa, I'll be with you for the next few hours. Anyways, hi, everyone. I'm Shannon Spake. Larry McReynolds, Bobby Labonte, and Jamie McMurray are here with me in studio. If you guys watched practice or qualifying this week at Las Vegas, it, it was crazy. It was must-see TV. So can what we see help you predict what we're going to see in the race today? I almost could have never predicted what... I know that one of the storylines we're going to follow is this aero platform. Outside of the aero platform, Jamie, what other storylines do you think we'll be talking about today? Hendrick Motorsports is going to be a story. And that's when all three races sweep the weekend and qualified third. I think he has a good shot at doing it today. We all, we all agree with that? that, that he has a, a shot? I yeah. liked what he said when he got out for winning yeah. the Xfinity race yesterday. Sounds confident. Yeah. I like M&Ms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the quote of the day right there. I like M&Ms. You know, every driver out there, like all the casino acts, they want top billing. And to start the race, that goes to the driver who ran the table on the field here last season. Of course, that's... So let's go back out to Las Vegas. We welcome in driver of the 19, Martin Truex Jr. to our show. Martin, thanks for joining us today. I do want to go back to something that you said prior to the Atlanta race. You said that with the new aero platform, you do not foresee a big three type situation where three guys could just dominate all of the races. I know we only have one race and a couple of practices under our belt, but how much do you still think par parity is going to dominate this season? I still feel. Martin, Larry said 19 in a negative way with the winless streak. No, I'm going to say 19 in a good way. This is a perfect day for the 19 to get to victory lane and break that 19 race winless streak. Thanks for, thanks for your time today. Okay, so should we be more focused on this winless streak? Because I think we're talking about Martin Truex Jr. He's led 452 laps since his last victory, but we're not really talking about the fact that he hasn't been to victory lane. Yeah, but, you know, they don't put asterisks by winless mm -hmm. streaks. So, you know, it, it, they look at the win column, and that's what people look at. That's what you look at. And I think it's more about the expectation. Flag out there at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and I think most of us agree it's going to be a pretty good race out there. So we all know the glamorous side of Las Vegas. The casinos, the hotels, the lights. But what about the real Vegas? What about the bull ring, the outlaws? I'd say those things are more our speed, and they certainly took center stage over the last few days. For Kyle to do this in an era where the competition is as tough as it is now, we're not comparing him to Richard Petty, but when he gets there and he will get there, it should be something to be celebrated. And you got to think the crew guys, right? His crew chief and, and all the guys on pit road, they've got to feel a little bit more of a sense of pride if they're able to get him this weekend's win. So Kevin Harvick is on the poll. But hold on a second, it might not be a great thing because pole sitters are on a cold streak over the last 19 races. The guy who led the field to green did not win a single race. But wait a minute, we're talking about Kevin Harvick here. He's a two-time Vegas winner, including a dominating performance one year ago. Time now to go. So catch 22. You could not catch the 22 today. No one could. That's my little joke. We also heard some other drivers. Other drivers had some great finishes. Vince Welch is...